Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a pro standard tutorial on this card. Um, some parts might be a little confusing, so I'm just gonna um, do a voiceover to explain that. But for the most part, um, it's just gonna be the music in the background. So yeah, we're just gonna get started. For the codes as well as all the animations, I haven't made a pasty bin yet, but by the time the tutorial's out, I'll have the pasty bin in the description. It's just because I'm gonna need to edit the code um, with all the correct element IDs in the order that I make them in the card I'm making now in reference to this card right here. That didn't really make much sense, but I just have to um, edit it so that if you follow the tutorial, you won't have to change um, the element IDs at all. So that's why I'm not copying it from a pasty bin, but there will be a pasty bin in the description um, by the time like anyone is seeing this. For the music player, you can change the color of it here, and then obviously the song link at the bottom. I will leave a link in the description of the website I use to download my songs, and then what I do is upload them to Dropbox. I copy and paste the link, and I change www to dl right here, and then at the end I put .mp3. You can find um, more complex tutorials on how a music player works um, on other card channels on YouTube. For the cursor as well, I'll have the site in the description, but I use cursors for you and you can search. I usually search by color, so like I search green and then you click on the cursor you want and you copy this right here, paste it directly into the embed and yeah, and then I delete everything after style like so. 
And now I'm just gonna add the animations, which again, will be in a pasty bin with the correct element ID, so you most likely won't have to change it if you follow the tutorial like in the right order. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that really quickly and then we'll get started on the card itself.
Okay, so now I'm really gonna quickly um, match up the element IDs with uh, the code and the animations, which will already be done for you. You can just copy it directly from the pasty bin and everything should be in order. You shouldn't have to change anything if you made it in the order that I made it in this tutorial. So yeah, I'll cut this part out and I'll be back with the final result. Alrighty, so I adjusted the codes and the animations to match the element IDs and you shouldn't have to edit it too much if you follow the tutorial exactly in the order I did it. Again, the pasty bins will be linked below once this tutorial is uploaded. Um, oh yes, a few notes. I did want to quickly add that move the two container. It was originally under one. Move it below the gradients. This is just for positioning reasons. And then the gallery containers themselves are going to have an animation setting. And I added this to the Google Doc. So if you want the settings to refer to. And after all that is done, once you publish, you should have an, a, resu a result looking something like this. I think it turned out super cute um, very happy with it not sure if they are watching this but shout out vo cardcore please make sure to credit them if you make this card they sent me a pro plus copy which made it a lot easier to turn into standard than if i were to do it from scratch so i really appreciate them please make sure to go check out their card channel um, and twitter they make tutorials as well so yeah thank you guys for, so much for watching again i'm sorry that some parts were a little messy please let me know if you need any help or have any questions down below on my twitter retro spring wherever but yeah sorry i talked a bit much in this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate all the support and i will see you all in the next one hopefully coming very soon bye bye